Prada arguably do some of the best crystal and sparkly bags on the market right now. But are they really worth the money? Find out everything you need to know in today's video. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you, my friend, are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. I have been wanting to add a sparkly, crystal-inspired uh, bag to my collection for quite some time now, and I recently did an unboxing here on my YouTube channel of this beautiful Prada Crystal Shopper tote bag. Now, I shared with you in that video, if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. I shared why I panic purchased this. So this wasn't a purchase that was methodically thought out, even though I had seen it like months and months before and I did say that I really, really liked it. Um, I didn't really have any plans to actually go and purchase it. Uh, with Prada, I shared a little bit about the resale value. I don't think the brand has a great resale value, so for me, if I want a Prada bag, I will generally go down the pre-loved route. However, there is basically, um, because the crystal bag trend right now is very big and these are some new styles from Prada, there's like nothing on the resale market. And I kind of figured uh, due to the price that I got this for, which again, I share in the other video, and um, the discount that I got on it and yeah, all of those things, I decided to quickly go for this because there was only one left in stock on the website that I ordered this from. In this video then, I will be telling you everything that you need to know about this bag, outfit styling, what fits inside, prices, etc. Um, but first, let's take a quick look at some of the crystal bags currently available from Prada. Now, we're going to start with the Prada Re Edition bag. This one, you can get plain in like the nylons, it's very popular because of the price point. You can also get it covered in diamantes. And I can say, I have seen this in person, it does really capture your attention. Like, it's a beautiful bag. Uh, this one retails at £1,600 in the UK, $2,200 in the US. There has been a recent price increase on all Prada items. So the re-edition uh, recently went up by £300. Um, and so did this shopper tote bag. So. 1,300 was its original price. A lot of people decide to go for the re-edition because again, it's quite significantly cheaper than the Shopper Tote and the Clio Diamantes, but there is a difference um, in terms of like the crystals and the finish of the bag. The re-edition has like Diamantes all over it, like small Diamantes, whereas let me show you close up on this one. It has like these little uh, faux crystals all over it, but in different sizes. So the finish and the look of the bag is a little bit different, even though I guess they're all kind of playing up to the same sparkly trend. Next one, this one's even cheaper, but this, I guess it's not really a bag, but I'm gonna include it anyway. This is the card holder at $1,300, £920 here in the UK now. I'm actually super tempted to get this as well as the one that I've already got. Reason being is it comes with a long chain, which you can shoulder, you can crossbody, and you can also tighten it, I believe, and wear it around your waist as like a belt bag, which I actually think, you know, if you're going to like a festival, um, a safe festival, where you don't mind wearing a bit of Prada, you could wear it around your waist as opposed to having anything like crossbody or dangling around. I really like the idea of that. Uh, next up, we have the shopper tote bag, which is the one I went for here. This one is currently £2,500 here in the UK, $3,350 in the US. The thing that I like most about this is, I, I would say, even though it's like a glittery bag, it's more of a, a casual looking bag than the other ones, you get a detachable crossbody strap, which you can adjust. For me, this is like a game changer. I love wearing my bags crossbody. It means that I would wear this in the evening with the top handles. I would wear it in the day with the crossbody strap, or you can wear it as like a shoulder bag, I guess, as well. Um, but yeah, I really like the versatility for me, crossbody strap uh, and a good like top handle is is the way. I, I love bags that have those, not like, I don't want something like under my arm dangling here. Uh, so this for me was like 100% the one. There was also another option, which was the Clio bag, which is really, really beautiful. It has the same finish as the Shopper Tote in terms of like the crystal finish and then you've got the black satin. So this is a satin bag, it's not made from leather. Clio retails at $3,700, $2,800. So this is the most expensive out of the kind of glittery range from Prada. 
I did debate the Clio, but again, it's kind of like a shoulder bag. It does come with a crossbody strap. So that was definitely, I was like, mm, on the fence with that. But for me, I don't know. I just really quite like the tote style in general. I feel like this one is a bit more casual, but I guess because it's got like crystals all over it, it doesn't feel that casual either. But I would definitely wear this in the day and in the evening, whereas the Clio, I don't know, it kind of feels a bit more like of an evening bag, whereas this, I would wear on both occasions. So that is the range of crystal sparkly bags from Prada. Now let's take a closer look at this beautiful bag. I've got some notes here so that I don't forget anything. So this here has artificial crystals. These are not real crystals uh, all over the bag including the bottom of the bag there. Now this bag does stand up by itself, but it doesn't have feet. Uh, so I wouldn't, I'd be a bit careful about like making sure I don't drag this across surfaces for that reason. It has leather handles, which are like a kind of a paint and tea black, which is really nice. It has a crossbody detachable strap here and it's also adjustable. So you can make this shorter or longer. It has a satin interior, if you can see that there. And it's also got a like pocket on the back. This one's got all its like cards and stuff in at the moment. But yeah, it feels very like luxurious inside of the bag. This bag is made from satin fabric, not leather. It's just the handles and the strap that are leather. Dimensions are 17.5 centimeters high, depth five centimeters here. So we've got quite a nice depth. And then the width of the bag is 15 centimeters. Now let me show you what fits inside. First up is my iPhone. This is the normal size iPhone, not the plus size, but you can get a plus size in here as well. It fits perfectly in the back pocket. If you've got the plus size, that would also fit in this back pocket. Next up is my Saint Laurent card holder. This is a slightly larger card holder than normal, um, but it fits absolutely fine inside there. We've still got plenty of room for some little bits. Here is a lip gloss, a lipstick. So we've got options. This is a small perfume from Bulgari. All of these fit in there perfectly fine. We still have quite a lot of room in here. So just to demonstrate, here is my Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin purse. Now I wouldn't take a purse and my card holder at the same time, but just to demonstrate, you can fit quite a lot, all like your small essentials inside this bag. Now that we've taken a look at what fits inside, I'm gonna try the bag on with a few different outfits to give you some inspiration on how you might wear and style a Crystal Prada bag. I was lost, just a shadow. My final verdict then, is this bag worth it? I originally, when I ordered it, was kind of like, no, I don't think it will be, but for my own reasons, I decided to go for it. Again, I'll share that in my other video where I did the unboxing. After seeing it, having it, like seeing it next to other pieces in my collection as well, because I don't have anything else that's sparkly. 
I honestly think it is worth it. If you don't have a sparkly piece in your collection and you want to add one, there is literally no doubt that Prada is like probably the brand to go for right now to get your pieces. There are a few other brands that do it well, but I think in terms of the really higher end luxury brands that people know about, Prada is definitely like the one to go for. I think this bag is worth it because I was like, do you know what? I'm probably never gonna wear that. Now, honestly, I cannot wait to wear it. I'm gonna be wearing it with jeans and a t-shirt. And just to share as well, one of my concerns actually with this bag was, are the crystals going to fall off it? Okay, because when you're spending two and a half grand on a bag, um, if the crystals fall off, that is not going to be good. I thought they might be stitched on. I don't know why they aren't stitched on. They're kind of, I think, glued to the fabric. And honestly, they are like solidly on there. I can't see them falling off. I don't have a whole lot of experience with Prada's like customer service because I don't buy a lot of Prada bags. However, I'm sure if anything did fall off, they would probably like replace it. I'm hoping that they do, but it feels like everything is like super sturdy on there. This isn't gonna be like an everyday bag for me. I'm not gonna bash it around, so I can't see this ever being an issue. Um, if it is, yeah, I'll just take it back to Prada, but I feel like these are really securely put onto the fabric. They've thought about it. They're a high-end luxury brand, so I have to make, make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here. We are going luxury shopping in arguably one of the best shopping malls in the world, Dubai Mall. You aren't going to want to miss this, guys. There is so much eye candy. Enjoy. <laughs> 